Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I am bringing you another declutter and organize video. This, if you are familiar with them, aren't deep cleaning videos. I'm just simply taking each space or one or two spaces per week and decluttering them off clutter and things that have made their way. For example, to this closet that don't belong here and I'm getting rid of maybe some clothes that I'm not wearing anymore or that are too small or too ripped up or whatnot and uh, moving them elsewhere or donating them and things like that. So today I will be working on my coat closet as well as my linen closet. The coat closet, I uh, have a video where I did the box, uh, one box challenge. So I had actually decluttered some of the coats from it. So I can link that video down in the description box or in the eye in the sky. Um, and I also started already spring cleaning some uh, the rooms that I have decluttered already. Um, so I have that video, which I will link as well. So, but today I will be working on this closet and just getting rid of things that don't belong here, uh, straightening it out and reorganizing um, areas that need to be organized. And I'll kind of walk you through it. So down in the corner, that blue bin or the cloth basket that just has our umbrellas in it. And then there's a watering can for, uh, cause I will be using it very soon when I, I need to water my flowers outside. So I like to just keep it here. And now I'm going to move on to shoes. I have already removed some of my Uggs. Um, I just think the weather that we're having right now, it's going to be too wet for them. So they will most likely get cleaned and stored away until next winter. And then if I decide I wanna wear them one day or not, I can always just pull them out of my closet upstairs. So I did my shoes. I apparently have the most, but um, I have my work boots and my uh, casual everyday boots. And then um, down here I keep my reusable bags uh, for shopping. So I'm going to just organize them because they're kind of everywhere here. I love using these 31 totes when we go to Costco. So the bottom is done. Um, I'm just going to now work on the top shelf. So in the far corner, I have a bin that kind of holds all sorts of different stuff. I'll show you what it has in it. So I keep my our heating pad in here. Then there is a two picnic blankets and then I used to also have my dog's grooming stuff which I don't anymore so I'm going to just 
get rid of some of that stuff and then I'm going to put our box spray in here and keep that in there as well and that way I'll, I'll add some sunscreen in here as well so that way if we just want to go out for picnic or something I can just grab this bag with me I have a lid here for those tote 31 bags I do bring these blankets with me when I go to the park with the daycare kids but I don't like to keep it in my daycare bag because they're so big so I only take it when I need it and this 31 has a handy little handle to it too. So that's that and it's gonna go back here. I have slippers for when company comes because they my parents and my mother-in-law and even my sister find my tile floor to be cold so I have slippers for them and I have it labeled so they know where they are and then in here I put other people's things so if I uh, right now I have a um, what is this called a meat tenderizer that I had bought for my mom. There is a milk bottle that needs to get returned and then I'll put dishes if somebody brings me food and stuff like that and a dish gets left behind and goes in there. This is my first aid kit. Shoe polishes. And then in this corner I have my purse. This is my daycare bag and then up here I just put my clean Norwax pads and uh, extra cleaning supplies so there this room is done this closet is done there wasn't much in it but now when it's time to spring clean it I'm not gonna have to spend too much time decluttering it I'll just come in take everything out wipe it down and put it back in so now we are upstairs where my linen closet is and as you can see it needs a little bit of reorganization and uh, maybe some decluttering. I need to go out and get more towels because we're constantly running out of clean towels and I wash them two to three times a week. But with both kids working at the pool my son playing water polo we go through a lot of towels so i'm gonna go through the top shelf which isn't too bad uh, i have to the blue bucket to the right is hand towels and then these are water polo towels that my son uses for when he goes to water polo As you can see, it's empty. And then over here, I'm just going to go through some of the towels because some are all kind of yucky looking. Like this one. That one can go downstairs, cut into rags. going to take this one to my home gym so here are all my hand towels if you can see and I have these handy little labels on them from dollar I think these are from Dollar Tree and then I have some extra toilet paper here this is we got a new washing machine so these are legs so on this main shelf, in this corner, I keep my extra soaps. I usually just have four in there. This is from 
Christmas still, so I'm gonna put that with my Christmas linen. And then these are hair towels. Not sure if this is dirty or clean. Okay, so all the other towels are gonna go in here. I have a load in the wash right now. And then in here, I just wanna show you. Go down, down, down. So I have my laundry basket labeled, or hamper labeled. So that way my kids know where to put their stuff. Even my husband. And so I have lights, darks, towels, and delicates. And there's nothing else on the bottom. Here I had removed one shelf just so I can fit this in. And I'm gonna deal with these sheets. These uh, baskets aren't really working very well, but uh, I'm not gonna go out and get new ones at this time. I think those cloth baskets that I have in a, a closet downstairs uh, would work better probably. So these contain my king sheets. I have this little lavender um, a little baggie with dried up lavender you can really smell lavender and we got it when we were on our vacation in Europe so I have that in these bit baskets so I have my pillowcases in here I know there is one more bin which is inside of this one just going to transfer all the pillowcases in one and then I'm gonna have the sheets in the other I know I have a bit more pillowcases but I only have two sheets set, sheet sets here which I think I'm gonna move them on top of the shelf over there are these um, they're pumps for when I buy the three gallons of shampoo which is often then I also have a queen size mattress protector which is an extra one So my sheets are right now in the wash, um, actually in a dryer. So I'm going to get them out and put them away in a little bit. And these are my daughter's sheets. And then over here I have, this one can go with my rags, but I have tablecloths. and. I have curtain which can go downstairs and these are just extra pillowcases from my daughter's new bedding set that she got and I have another pump take this over here I'm gonna go through here and just see what's in here so more tablecloth runners Spare shower curtain. So I'm going to put that all in here. this out because I will be using this soon it's it goes outside all um, and my under my front door mat so 
gonna leave that out and I'm gonna go I am going to get rid of these sheets because they are all worn out there and we each have like I said two sets These are my big Eurosham pillows, but I have different ones now for the winter, so I'm going to put these just on a shelf behind here. And then these are my sons. Just purely extras. Sometimes we'll, if we're going camping, I'll take them as well. And that's it. I think that looks much better. And then when I'm for deep cleaning, I'll just all I have to do is wipe down the shelves and vacuum and wash the baseboards. And I've gotten rid of all the stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you're working on decluttering or organizing a space. And if you're gonna be working on the same areas that I am or following my uh, free printable that is linked down below in my blog post, um, tag me in your pictures and post it on Instagram so I can uh, see what you're working on. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.